man. They they be saying we like Fayetteville bias, Kiana. That's what they be saying. <laughs> I told you this from the beginning that it's a lot of talent that comes out of Fayetteville. Like mm-hmm. talent come out of favor. That's what it is. I mean, I could be biased, but mm-hmm. why are y'all biased though? I'm why they say that? It's because like we, every artist or something that we get, they're like associated with favor. Mm, okay. Yeah. I like okay. that. Well, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we got a couple brothers in here also that's in this podcast game in this podcast space, man. Yeah. We go. I'm gonna let y'all introduce these brothers. I'm, I'm gonna let. Y'all can introduce yourself, rather. <laughs> Who we got in here tonight, man? All right, man, man. I'm Sue Forever, man. I'm the host of the MBD podcast show, man. That's uh, the only podcast show that's popping out of Fayetteville, a.k.a. the 2-6, uh, 26. North Carolina. Um, I'm, I'm here with my co-host, uh, DJ VI. Yeah. VI, what up? Chillin', man. I'm happy to be here, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Thanks you, Thanks for man. having us. And also, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Miss Google. She also does a call host, the co-host. I said call host? <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I said call host. Yeah, you do. I meant to say co host but... Um, it's all right. We'll blame it on the, the, we'll blame the, it on alcohol or whatever. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave everything in there. That's what the MID <laughs> podcast show is about, my guy. Okay. We get drunk, we get high, and then we just go on air. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Miss Google, uh, Bad Day in the Two Six Man. Yeah, uh, she really handled a lot of things for us, man. Keep the business going. I appreciate her, man, and um, I just want to represent her in a sense. Check. Okay. All right. Now tell tell us uh, more about your podcast, man. How long it's been established, and what made y'all want to jump <laughs> in the podcast space? Because seems like everybody got a podcast these mm-hmm. days. So yeah. So I started this podcast five years ago. Okay. Um, okay. When I was in Hawaii, before a podcast show was even a thing, right? Um, I was in Hawaii, and um, I started because uh, me and my homeboys in Hawaii, we used to get drunk, we used to smoke and, and all the stuff. And we, we used to always talk about what's going on in the media. Mm-hmm. We used to always, always talk about what's going on with the president. We used to always talk about what's going on in today's society. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was one of the two podcasts I would listen to at the time because back then, podcasts weren't even popping like gotcha. that. You had a Joe Biden podcast, and you had the Brilliant, in, the brilliant Idiot Brilliant, the brilliant idiot podcast. <laughs> brilliant idiots. The brilliant idiot <laughs> idiots. Brilliant idiots. 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 The brilliant idiots podcast with um Charmin the God and Short Andrew Schwartz. Right. Uh, that's all we had at the point. Right. So when I listened to those podcasts, I thought that man, we just sit here all day. We just talk shit all day. We drink. We talk about what's going on in the media. We talk about what's going on in today's times. Why not I get a mic, put on a uh, recording software, and just record the, the things that we think in our opinion. Okay. That's going day in life. And this started five years ago, man. Now everybody got a podcast show. Everybody you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel you on that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what make y'all um, podcast stick out from everybody else? You think? Oh, uh, because we just uh, we just rugged and raw, right? Different. We we don't we don't go by any rules, right? So if you come to our podcast show, if you smoke weed, if you drink, if you whatever whatever you do, mm-hmm. you can do it there, yeah, right? And then you gonna be into your true form. What's our press record? And you in your true form, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, the 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 true serum yeah. from the liquor is gonna speak, uh, right? Yeah. The pop juice. I don't edit anything, right? I record everything that night, and I re- I post it literally that night. I don't edit anything. I don't take out anything. Whatever your true serum is, when you mm-hmm. want that liquor, when you want that weed, or whatever, whatever the case might be, that's gonna bleed out on the mic. Um. I'm not a dude that's going to conform my podcast to fit into, um, ah, shit, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, society? Society? Yeah. That's a society. <laughs> like, we're going to say nigga. We're going to say fuck. We're going to talk about pussy. We're going to talk about, uh, so we got females on the show. We got anybody. females on the show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we well, got females on the show. Like, that talk exo- about like exotic dances? And fucking and all that <laughs> stuff. Like, everything's going to go. Everything's going to go. But Not we much. talk about it in an adult situation. 
Yeah, but that, right. but that we also have like Miss Google to kind of even it out. It, even it out. The yeah. Field. yeah, yeah. Got yeah. you. So yeah. What's the hardest part about starting a podcast? The hardest part about starting a podcast, like when I when I started five years ago, nobody even know what a podcast was. Mm, so when I was trying to explain to them, like, "Yo, I'm about to start a podcast," it was like, "What's that? Is that a radio show?" <laughs> but we were like, "Nah, uh, yeah. nah, nah, it's not a radio show. It's probably gonna pop on you on SoundCloud." Yeah, and then it's going to trickle through uh, iTunes and all that stuff, but. The hardest part about starting a podcast show five years ago was the point that people can't believe that somebody can listen to somebody talk yeah. for two, three hours. Right. Yeah. Right? But so you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you definitely lonely can. people. Yeah. No, I'm talking about lonely people. It's 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 about um we get tired of music these days. That's that's mm-hmm. what I feel, right? Yeah. When I listen to the radio, it's the same song over and over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. So all I do now, I just listen to podcast shows. Mm. And that's how I started five, six years ago. Mm. I would just listen to podcast shows because they was talking about stuff that's going on in today's society, in the media. They was talking about what's going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So y'all I go, felt like... Y'all go ahead. What's up? No, y'all go ahead. I just gotta holler at so I felt like uh, <laughs> me making the podcast show... We could talk about uh, me being in the army and people that know me. Mm-hmm. They would listen to me when I was, when I spit my opinion about what's going on in today's society. Mm. Yeah. Because in the military, we all know that all my military soldiers out there, we all know that everybody they just fucking drink. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I hear that a lot. Yeah, we and can't smoke weed charges. or nothing like that, right? <laughs> we can't smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He, he definitely put a post up charges. about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we no, can't, no, he don't got one. But. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we can't smoke weed or nothing like that, right? So the one thing that we go to is the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Once we get to the alcohol, now everybody's everybody at that point is a conspiracy theorist at that point, right? Mm-hmm. And it's not the wrong with being a conspiracy theorist. It's I think that people need to hear what people really think about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Even with uh with the coronavirus thing going on, right? <laughs> oh, 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 my nigga, it, this is population control, my nigga. It's just like boo, boo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. just hearing all that, you hear people's opinion about what's going on with the coronavirus and even when anthrax popped out yeah. and the, um you know just anything that pops out, I like to hear people's opinions about what's going on in today's society. Mm, speaking mm. of today's society. Um, I heard that you have artists. Will you manage artists? Mm-hmm. I do. Out here in the community. So I what do. do you think about the Megan Thee Stallion case? Mm. Are you out here giving bad contracts, man? Nah, yeah. not at all. No, yeah. no, no, no 60-30s, <laughs> no, none of that. Yeah. All right. Be, 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 before you um, talk about the Megan Thee Stallion, talk about your, uh, tell the people what your record label is. So um, it's VIJ Black Glove Music Group. Um it's me and another gentleman by the name of Rossiano, mm-hmm. um, CEOs of, of that business. And um, we manage and help the artists such as Tuan Picasso, uh, Uno Way, uh, G-Rock the Mike King. Um, and, you know, just try to help them and in, in, in to the right direction in music. Being an independent artist, not only to our label, but also to do what they want to do as artists and you know, not such to be in the Megan Thee Stallion situations. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think her contract was fair? No. Really? Explain. I feel that she, when she came into it, I felt she was kind of like, okay, I'm I'm gonna do it, and I think that at that time when she did it with those those people, mm-hmm. the group of people that she did it with, I didn't think they knew she was gonna blow to the to be like with uh, Rock Nation and all that. I don't think they knew to the full potential. So like you could have a, like, you know, us, for example, we mm-hmm. can all be rocking together and you say, hey, you rap? All right, cool, we're going to help you. We're going to push you and push you and push you, get you in the right places. Then all of a sudden, boom, now you're like to the forefront. And now they're going to kind of like, you know, stop you in a way because they feel like they have that control to stop you. Yeah, you think that was fair? Side in the case. Yeah. You think that was fair? Do I think it was fair? You think you you think it wasn't fair? 
Yeah, I think she's it was. on Megan's side. Yeah, I'm on Megan's side. So I, I, I think her contract was fair. Okay. I do too. I, right. I, I, I agree. Everything. I agree too. Uh, I, I think I, I think it's fair, um, because you put you know as an independent label, yeah, you you give these uh, young men, young women, money up front, opportunity opportunity mm-hmm. up front, mm-hmm. yeah, put money in their pocket, and you know, they're nothing. But you nothing. you don't even know what they're gonna be, right? Yeah, when exactly. you sign, yeah. right? That's what I'm saying. You don't you don't know what you're getting, and I think by her signing, you know. Being with Rock Nation or man, being managed with Rock Nation, I think they didn't expect that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think coming from uh, back in the day, like when you had Young Thug and he was able to put his music out, and then all of a sudden now you wanted to get with Young Money, you know, that type of situation, then, you know, you kind of like segue well, back because now you want to control my music. Mm-hmm. So well, that's that's what I'm thinking. Well, you got to think about it, man. Rock Nation kind of came into the situation after she was popping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, so... With her original record deal, mm-hmm. right? They don't. They didn't know what she was gonna be, yeah. how she was gonna be, how big she was gonna be. So, the record deal that that she got up front, I think it was fair. Just judging all, I don't know what the hell you're gonna be in life. Okay, right? and, and as far as that aspect, yeah, I think mm-hmm. that was fair. Yeah, but now, I feel like they had to believe in her because ain't no way you're gonna just throw money out there for nobody. Exactly. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, with any artist, you have to believe in them, mm-hmm. right? Now, when they start popping and blowing up, I think what she did going back to re negotiating her deal. Yes, I think they should have hear that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, like because at the end of the day, she only gonna bring them more money mm-hmm. if the deal get renegotiated. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Right, but. You know, to the young artists coming up, if I don't know you, and I think I talked to you uh, via about your artists, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like your artists, not not your artists per se, but mm-hmm. in a sense that a lot of people think they famous. They think they famous more than what they are. Right. Mm. Oh, my nigga, you ain't even famous yet, my nigga. So yeah. why you... Why, why, why you doing these uh, <laughs> inside jokes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. and, and I got you. I think y'all feel me on that one, right? Yeah. Why you doing these famous moves and you're not even you're not famous yet? Yeah. Drop everything that you fucking doing. Every video that you doing, drop that shit instantly, mm-hmm. right? Um, I did a video when I was featured on the track, right? In the video, it was winter time. You can't the, the people. You just can't say that like the people already know you rap. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if, yeah, yeah. if you go on YouTube, man, look at the snug video. Uh, Grant West fishing Super forever. Oh, right? you rock with Grant West? Oh yeah, yeah. I got I, I got a feature with Grant West. Yeah, that's my. <laughs> oh, say no more. Well, say no more. We, we're okay. gonna cut it right there. Oh, my. Y'all rock <laughs> with Grant West? I didn't no, know no, not this. no more though. Not no more off well, me though. Not no more well, off me though. Right? Okay. Yeah. Me and hell, we had a, wow. a situation and I, and I cut it. Right? Yeah. But we sound, do got sound a, like sound like my business with Grant West uh, too. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? so, but, I'm, uh, but I'm not. I'm not here. To, I'm not here to bash we, anybody. We're gonna, do no, that, we're gonna cut that right? out. And I oh, feel right. now, we're not cutting out nothing. I, I want <laughs> no. I want, no, you gotta cut it out. I want to cut it out. I want the nigga. I want the nigga to see it. Oh, I want the nigga. Oh, my nigga. Me and you might be on the same stage, my nigga. Oh, right. Look, nah, hold look. up, hold on. Let me let me no. let me clear okay. let, me cl- let me clear the air. Okay. Grant, Grant West is a super talent, super talent, super, super talent, lyricist, like super talent artist. Yeah. Go ahead, um, mm-hmm. but very 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 hard to work with. Bam, very hard to work with, bruh. Yes, <laughs> yes, bruh. Very hard to work with, <laughs> but dope. So, me is dope. dope. That hey, nigga can spit so, his ass off. So let me let me yeah, yeah. Let, let me Is Grant double. West one of your artists? He so was. Me, so let me double back. Okay, he was. Let's, let's he was. Talk he was. Yeah, yeah. Now we, that's, now that's, we that's how me and Grant West. Yeah, that's, that's how me and Grant West did so, the, the feature together. Yeah, so yeah. let's double back. So when I started VIJ, mm-hmm. Grant West was my artist. Damn. Hold on, I might Go ahead and record it, my nigga. I'm gonna show this to my nigga. This I'm is show, a mystery I'm, I'm that you about to so, witness right now. I'm gonna show this to my nigga Shine. There, there you go. go. Go there ahead, start go. from the top. So, mm-hmm. so Grant West, when I started VIJ, I started it with just Grant West. This nigga about to be famous off this shit. <laughs> now, go ahead. I had no idea. I, know, Grant, right? I had no idea Grant West was gonna be even be a subject. Like, go ahead. I didn't, I didn't know. Ahead. I didn't know either. But okay. Um, yeah. So I started VIJ off 
with Grant West. Mm-hmm. We did a numerous amount of videos. Yep. Boom, freestyle, snug. Uh, he rapped over uh, Kai Cash's mm-hmm. beat. Um, Candy Pain. I mean, yeah. he, he had songs. Yeah. Look, everything. Everything yeah. was was formatted. It was team. formatted. Um, yeah. At the end of it all, he kind of like uh, wanted to do what he wanted to do. Sound like Grant I mean, West nigga was me. a diva, man. Yeah. I, I, I'll say it straight nigga up. Nigga was a diva. diva. Um, he thought he was more famous than what he was. So, so I tried yeah. to help him further his career, okay. I would say. Um, by t- taking him to meet him, I thought he was a great, funny person. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a funny guy. He has a podcast that's funny. Hey, let me take him up there, let him meet him. And this is how we got cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and how I got Hold more. Up. I watched that episode with. Damn. That, what that nigga was wilding on that episode? The whole, damn, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. What that nigga Grant West on that wilding? Yeah, yeah. This is, this is, this is. And wild. me and him got into it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I feel you. On, on the episode, yeah. On the live feed. <laughs> the episode <laughs> running live feed. <laughs> me and the nigga got into it. On some dumb shit, though. It's like, it's also dumb shit. Cause he think he's more famous than. I never even heard of him, so. Oh, well, he yeah, know what I'm talking about. Him. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, um, long story short, mm-hmm. okay. Um, it just got to a point where it got real frustrating for me. Yeah, um, yeah. I wanted him to do more music. I wanted him to do shows, mm-hmm. and it just got to a point where it was like, you know what? I can't do this. My like my mental sanity is not going to allow me. Right. And, and not only that, man, he went on uh, social media. He did VR, right? Mm-hmm. And um. And I, I ain't like that shit. Damn, right. I didn't know this was gonna turn the case later. Drama oh, out. We in this bitch. We in this bitch, nigga. Super M M I D podcast show. Goddamn. DJ V I this bitch. We in this bitch. This shit about to get real. This is lit. He went on social media. He diss. He diss my my guy DJ V I. Now I didn't tell V I about it at first because that's his guy. This the video I did for him. Which one? Let's look. I don't know if he was part of y'all label at the time when I did that video for him. But the red one? The red one. Which one? The uh, Grant West. Oh, the, the Grant West interviews? Not the Grant West interview, but the video. What, with the chick? The one with the chick? Yeah, with the chick, yeah. Oh, oh. wait for it? Yeah. No, no, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't part of the label there. No. So what happened was, I'm, I'm going to break that down. Mm-hmm. He, um, <clears throat> we were working together. Mm-hmm. So when he shot that video, I remember that. Mm-hmm. He came to work, he shot mm-hmm. it, he was like, um, uh, yeah. Breathing hard. Yeah, he didn't. He something like the video yeah. was shot. He wanted to back in like a timely fashion or something of like that yeah. nature, and it probably didn't work out that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I said to him, "Look, when you dealing with artists or or directors at that or videographers at that, you have to allow them to create that vision of what they shot." Yeah, and I think he was just at a point where he was just like, "Look, I want this. I want to do what I want to do, and it's not taking." Look, the, nigga, the nigga made me throw in my gold grill. Right? <laughs> <laughs> arguing. Cool, we we he had a music video, he's arguing about locations and not nah, about nah, nah, nah. uh, I'm in fucking Zaxby's you know you know you know you, you know you got a gold grill, right? You got your bottom ends, right? Yeah. yeah. You about to eat your you about to eat your meal, right? You take your grill out, you set on the tray. <laughs> Right, <laughs> this nigga call me about switching fucking locations and shit. I'm getting fucking frustrated. Yo, my nigga, like this fucking to shoot the shit where we said we gonna shoot the shit. I fucking get up, take my tray, throw that bitch in the fucking trash can. <laughs> yeah, my whole grill. <laughs> and that's when I was like, you know what? I can't hey, we even. Done, we done gave this nigga way too much promo. Yeah, a lot. Hey, yeah. All right, Grant, yeah. Grant West. You're right. Uh, You're right. Go get go get his album. Yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. he do. Well, shout to my dog. Mm. Sean Finesse Cause he uh, produced on Grant West's album And it's much love to Sean Finesse That's my but brother for life to give respect to Grant West He produced my album though Oh for real? Yeah He All produced right. Chrome I had, Music I had oh, no idea album. this nigga name Was gonna yeah, come I up didn't, tonight I didn't know But anyway, <laughs> but anyway man, we, we, ain't gonna, we ain't gonna wait shout out. But I just wanna do I, I just wanna give him a shout out though Okay Cause I know he gonna eventually see this shit Shout out to Grant West He's a uh, He was yeah. an outstanding engineer That nigga is talented Lyrically and he's Great also artist. talented musically. And he's yeah. also talented um, when it comes to engineering shit, right? Yeah. That nigga engineered my first uh, debut album, Chrome Music. Yeah. And I will always get a nigga that respect for that. 
Right You know what I'm saying I think um, Me and him On some other shit We didn't vibe Me being me mm -hmm. Right I have a, a standard That I go by And I have morals That I go by And I stood by that And I did that shit With um With DJ VI right here Yeah Alright so Yeah man That's all it is That's all it is Huh we talking about? I don't know. I don't what even know. About about no, no. This is the MRD yeah, podcast show. That's how, that's how MRD podcast show is going, right? You just go fucking <laughs> go, go, go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it moves. It moves. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, how, how you say y'all brother's from Fayetteville? Yeah. Well, he's he's actually from Georgia. I'm from Mount Vernon, New York. Mount Vernon, New York. Well, so, how long y'all how long y'all been down south? So, um, I'm originally from Georgia, St. Simon's Island, Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, but I've been in Fayetteville since I was 19 years old, so that's why I claimed the two six. Yeah, I'm, you might as uh, well. Yeah, mm -hmm. you might as well. Yeah, I might as well. Right, I'm 35 years old right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so basically, I've been since I was 19. Fayetteville is definitely my second home. I lived in Bonnie Doon, lived the Merck, I lived in Lock Lomond. You know, what I'm saying like I lived in all the hoods in um in Fayetteville mm -hmm. uh, during my time in the service. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, definitely Fayetteville 26 is definitely my second home. I know everything about it. Yeah, uh me, uh three years in Fayetteville. Uh pretty much work. I'm a mailman by day. Mm -hmm. Deliver that mail. Not, yeah. not to bring up Grant West name again, but he was a mailman too. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, we were, we were the same that's how we all that's how yeah. Yeah. I met. Yeah. That's yeah, how we yeah, met. That's how they met. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um but that nigga about to be famous. Don't be that nigga Don't about be. to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Kiana, like, who the f yeah, yeah, when, Grant West. When you, Grant West. <laughs> well, when you go back, you will. Yeah, if you if you meet him, you be like, oh, yeah. Now I better not get tagged in nothing. Nah. Well, after tonight, after tonight, because he's going to eventually redrop the snug video. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll get to see the talent. Yeah. That this brother possessed, you know what I mean? Like they were just two superheroes. And we was, you know, we I, was. I felt I like Batman, that. Superman. You know, I just felt like Batman or Superman felt like they can't be two Gotham's. Yeah, yeah. has to be yeah. one. It can only be one superhero. So unfortunately, yeah, that's how I feel about relationships too. I feel like it only could be one head. Everybody can't. It always got to be a head or a neck. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I talked to Vi about that. Mm -hmm. It's it's always a boss nigga, mm -hmm. right? It's a head nigga, mm -hmm. and everybody got to support the whole situation that's going on. Head. Now, everybody can be a boss nigga after that point, yeah, right? You know, what I'm saying once it branch off to everything else, um, and I think that's the hardest part when it comes to, um, black people supporting other black people, right? Everybody want to be the boss. Yeah. Mm. Listen to the music. It's thirty fucking uh, head drug dealers in Philly. Mm. Somebody had to fall under a nigga that gave them that's the bricks, true. right? Yeah, that's right. In any situation. Uh, mm. Yeah, right. in any situation, right? So, and me and Vi had a long talk, right? I know Vi got his own thing going on. And I got my yeah. own thing for going going on. We gonna, we gonna get them bars out of you before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get them we, bars. We, we, go, out we of gonna you. get the. We gonna get the. <laughs> But I always told him like you got the it's one umbrella that you have to push first, right? Mm -hmm. And then once that start making money, then everything will branch off like a branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel right? like when you in working relationships or any relationship, um, love or anything, it's respect. It's yeah, respect. Absolutely, I have to have respect for each other. Yeah. And and that's why Vi rose with me, man. That nigga don't know me from a fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> a hole in the wall. But when that when he met me though, he was like, yo. Well, nigga, gonna ride with you. I don't give a fuck what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's a different type of love that you just don't get from everybody. That's yeah. true. Right? I only know this nigga for like maybe about a year and a half. Yeah, and I feel two, like this nigga my brother. Yeah, right? So two. I'll do anything for this nigga and uh, he'll do anything for me. And I mean, I'm I'm up here to, today because of him. Yeah. Right? I have no idea. Y'all had your own conversations and. DMs and stuff like that and he felt like I should come up here me and him should come up here and talk to y'all mm -hmm. even with the cypher that you know said that's dropping soon he felt like I should be in that cypher you know what I'm saying so I mean that's just love that you just don't get from just anybody you know what I'm saying he's seen something in me and mm -hmm. he's just pushing the whole goddamn situation you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. yeah you I'm feel like, like it's okay for black people to say nigga 
Do I feel like it's okay for black people? Yeah, it? because we don't want you know the other races to say it. So why should we? Yeah, so mm. I mean, we, we it's it's a um, I mean, we do that, right? It's a, it's a um, I think us as black people, we have reinvented the word. Okay. Right. So, I mean, nigga at first used to mean something bad. He used to mean like you were stupid, you was dumb, you couldn't mm-hmm. you couldn't read, you couldn't fucking whatever, right? Okay. And I think over the years that uh, they kept call us that, calling us that so much that we embraced it. And just, we just reinvented the whole word. And it's nothing wrong with reinventing the word, right? Mm-hmm. You could take any bad word. Females call each other bitches all the time, right? That's true, but it depends on how you say it. It depends yeah. on how you say it, right? Mm-hmm. That's true. And the same thing with the nigga word, right? We use the word nigga in like five different ways. That's true. Break it down. Right? Yeah, break right? it down. And I, and I can no, tell you. We, we got five minutes left, but I can tell break you, it down. I can tell you like, yo, you my nigga. Mm-hmm. We cool. Right. Nigga do something stupid. Man, shit, that's some nigga shit. That's true. <laughs> yeah, nigga, right? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some other shit like shit. That's some shit niggas would do. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can keep on going with the word nigga. Yeah. yeah. And I think that we just re we just reinvented the word nigga to mean something powerful. Yeah. Between us, right? Mm-hmm. Just like women when they call each other bitches, right? Mm-hmm. That's my bitch. Hell yeah, that's my bitch. That's my bitch birthday. Boom boom. Y'all just reinvented that word. Now, if I call you a bitch right now. Everybody that you roll with is going to be on my head, yeah. right? Like, on your head. It just depends on how I say it. That's just out of respect. Yeah, I feel that. I understand that. Yeah. Straight, so straight high we shit. Ended, end this thing, we gonna do that freestyle. We're gonna do that freestyle. Oh, before we get to, before we get to the freestyle, I gotta shout out the dope. Y'all really try to do a freestyle to be. The dope. The, y'all got before we, before we. Uh, oh, so brought you one. They oh, gotta drop. Y'all tell me about these hoodies. Who who made oh, these yeah, hoodies? Oh, oh, so Chrome. So. My first album is called Crow Music, right? Okay. Uh, it's going to be a three-part series. Uh, Crow Music, which is out now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go on All streaming. any streaming out. Yeah. Type in Sue Forever, the number four, and ever. ever, and you will see Crow Music that's already out now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Crow Music 2, The Raven, that's going to drop in April. Yeah. Uh, then you got Crow Music 3, A Murder, because a flock of crows is called a murder right it's not called a it's not called a flock of crows it's called a murder yeah mm-hmm. a flock of crows right so doing that whole thing crow is my thing um i think um and i'll go back to explain why i named my album crow music because uh when you think of a crow what you think of right you think it's just a black bird it's just dumb right but <laughs> a crow is the most intelligent uh, bird in the species, right? Because I think everybody think about the eagle. Mm-hmm. They think about the parrot because they can talk or yeah. whatever the case might be. But if you go back and you go on YouTube and you look up the crow, uh, it's, it's a professor that did a whole presentation on crow. They put a fucking food in a Coke can, in a Coke bottle. Mm-hmm. That crow took a piece of metal, bent that bitch, right? <laughs> put that bitch in his beak. <laughs> And fucking reached in the fucking Coke bottle, pulled the fucking food out, right? To get his food, right? And I think us as black people, I think when people look at us, they judge us by the cover. Mm-hmm. They don't they don't really talk to us and realize that we are the most for reasons, we the most imitated fucking culture. Absolutely. In the world, right? Yeah. Second of all, we the most intelligent culture in the world. That's what crow music is. Right, you see that crow, you think you judge the book by the cover. You think that the bird is dumb. You think the bird is dirty. Okay. You think that whatever. You let's know what I'm saying? These, so let's get these bars off before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I got, got no, I, one, got, I got another guest coming in. Yeah. Um, before before you get these bars, man, tell the people every tell the people when your podcast drop. Tell them about your uh, just real real fast. Tell yeah. the people about your uh, podcast when it drop. Tell them about your music and everything else you got going on before we get to these bars. So the MD podcast show, man, it's on uh SoundCloud, it's on uh iTunes, it's on fucking every fucking streaming out you can um mm-hmm. you, you know, fine. Um <laughs> Crow music on everything goddamn thing too. So um <laughs> But the MD podcast show, all they do is you gotta go to uh every streaming out and put in the M I D M, you know what I'm saying, I D podcast show. 
And MRD stands for uh, Moguls Independent Diverse. Uh, you put that in, it's going to pop up. You're going to see my face. Uh, you put in Sue Forever, uh, and then Chrome is going to pop up. Yes, All right, man. Best Conversations Podcast. Man, thank y'all, man. Thanks for having me. Y'all some cool ass dudes, man. Yeah, I mean, we wasted like uh, 20 minutes on them, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the MLD podcast show go for like three hours. Yeah. Crow clothing coming soon. Let's get these bars off, man. Y'all really trying to get some bars? (laughs) (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Yo. Now, y'all tell me who's the king. Oh, turn it up. Turn it up a little bit. I can't hear it. Yeah. Uh, they are tell me who's the king. You could look at me. The other contestants, the niggas is the in my team. Oh, I can't hear the beat, bro. Best conversation podcast, <laughs> Shit, man. They gonna cut me <laughs> off, man. I can't hear that. I can't hear it. Crow clothing coming. Shout out to VJ Black Club. Uh, music crew. Get on that. That might be podcast. I could not hear that. Best conversation podcast. All right, well, you, you you want one another shot at it? No, I'm good. I ain't rapping like that. <laughs> you good? <laughs> I ain't finna embarrass myself on your podcast show, my nigga. All right, man. Thank y'all for coming, appreciate man. You, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Oh my god. <laughs> that shit was low as hell. It, it is low. It is low.